Hey friends, so um, a few months ago, the Lord started stirring in my heart that um, we got to run that race that is set before us. And he was just like, Sarah, you're not even walking the race. How are you going to run the race? And I don't know, the spiritual with the physical, I just started walking because I knew physically I wasn't healthy, not just spiritually, physically too. And so I came to the park and I started walking and I remember that first day I walked, it was hard to walk. Like, I think I could only walk like 15 minutes, but I continued to show up each day with the Lord and just telling him, Lord, I need your help because I don't want to be physically dead and I don't want to be spiritually dead. And I can say today, um, I, I ran, <laughs> I ran today. And as I was running back, I was like, oh Lord, I just want to stop. And the Lord was like, no, Sarah, you're not going to stop. You can do this. And I'm like, well, I'm going to need your help then Lord. And for me to worship, that is how I fought my battles. And so part of my walking, I would turn on my worship music and I would just worship and walk and I could just feel the spirit of the Lord with me today. So when I was like, Lord, you're going to have to help me run the rest of this way. This song, this is how I fought my battles came on. And I was just like, Oh God, you're so good. And that was just the song that I needed because the reminder that we don't fight our battles alone. Um, I was reading in John 20 today, and that's where Jesus has risen from the grave, and Mary comes, and the tomb is empty, and she runs and tells the disciples that Jesus is gone, so Peter and the beloved um, disciple, they run to the tomb, and sure enough, it's empty, and it says that, you know, they didn't understand the scripture at the time, but they understood now what it meant that Jesus had to raise from the dead and they believed. But Mary, Mary lingered there. Mary, we know that she loved Jesus so, so very much. And she heard someone and he said, woman, why are you, why are you weeping? And she looked and she thought it was just a gardener. And she's like, someone stole my Jesus. Like she's looking for him. And that's a reminder for me. Am I looking? Am I looking for Jesus every day to show up in me and work through me and walk with me as his disciple? And she didn't recognize Jesus. But the moment he said, Mary, the moment he spoke her name, because we know Jesus said, my sheep, my sheep will know my voice. And she knew right then that it was her teacher. It was her Jesus that she had walked with. And so Jesus gave her a message to go and share. And you could kind of say she was the first one to share the gospel that Jesus is alive. I did see him. And she told the disciples and Jesus appeared in front of the disciples and everyone was there but Thomas and so when the disciples told Thomas that they saw Jesus we know that doubting Thomas he was like no I don't believe it I'm gonna have to see him I'm gonna have to feel his nar his nail scarred hands I'm gonna have to put my hands in his nails where they were pierced and in his side he didn't believe but Jesus appeared to Thomas and Thomas got to feel but Jesus said, blessed are those. See, we weren't like those disciples. Those disciples got to walk with Jesus for three and a half years. They witnessed those miracles. They saw it and they still struggled with doubt. We didn't get to walk with Jesus then. But that's why it's important that we walk with Jesus now. Because when we walk with Jesus now, that's what strengthens our faith. And we need our faith to be strengthened. Because Jesus said, Thomas you had to see to believe. Jesus said, blessed are those who don't see but believe. So blessed are you that you didn't get to see Jesus raised from the dead after he raised. But blessed are you because you believe the Bible, the Holy Bible that rightly divides. Amen. All right. I love you guys. You guys be blessed.